Oh, okay. What does a cat, LA Knight, a truck, and Jack the Jobber have in common? I'll put you out of your misery. It's this. This, and I say it with love, is the stupidest title in wrestling. The Iron Man Heavy Metal Weight Championship is a peculiar pillar of DDT Pro Wrestling with a lineage as random and as garish as the belt itself. Suspend your disbelief as we traverse, sometimes through verse, through a maddening Matt multiverse. June 29th, 2000, we're in Kitazawa Town Hall in Tokyo for another wild night of dramatic Dream Team Pro Wrestling. It's about to get even wilder. After winning a tag team contest with the iconic Kikutaro, defeating exciting Yoshida and Fuzisho Karusa, Poison Sawada Black unveiled to the world a snakeskin bound bit of belt based beauty. Poison picked his poison all right. He introduced the world to the DDT Pro Iron Man Heavy Metal Weight Championship, a title that could be challenged anywhere, anytime, and by anyone, as long as a referee was present to count the three. As Poison Sawada Black showed off his brand new hardware, he declared himself the first ever champion and welcomed challengers of all shapes and sizes from anywhere at any time. His tag team partner was all like, ah, oh, sweet belt, bro, can I, can I take a look at that? And as Poison handed it over for his friend to observe, he ended up eating it in the face. He got battered with his own belt, did Poison. And moments later, he was dethroned as the Iron Man Heavy Metal Weights inaugural champion. What a way to end an inauguration. The snake pelt bedecked belt was a parody of what was happening in the Western world of sports entertainment, as was the modus operandi of dramatic Dream Team Pro Wrestling since 1997. It stirred up, did DDT, a grand based goulash containing several tablespoons of traditional puro resu, a dash of lucha libre, and several liters of silly bollocks. If you've seen a video of something stupid happening in the name of wrestling, a fight at a swimming pool, or a match on a train, a contest against a blow-up doll, chances are uh, you're either sick and having a fever dream or you're watching DDT Pro. Y you may be doing both. Just a few months before we were introduced to Poison Sawada's new toy, the World Wrestling Federation mandated a 24-7 rule for the hardcore title, with Crash Holly's cartoon hijinks becoming pretty special highlights of Raw and SmackDown. Seeing WWF holding title matches in hotel rooms and ball pits, and observing valets and backstage personnel scrapping over the Fed's mangled metal, DDT Pro were not going to let their parodical muse outweird them. Thus, this audacious accolade was born. Poison Sawada Black would regain his glory and become a seven-time Iron Man heavy metalweight champion over his career, but he'd be nowhere near the most successful gold holder in this Mad Belts book. No, Shinobu and Yuko Miyamoto are the two most successful champions in this belt's lineage, a milestone that they pretty much earned in one night. It was in 2006 where they competed in a Falls Count Anywhere match that saw them cover 15 miles and trade the title 303 times, all in one match. This wouldn't even be one of the strangest belt exchanges. We'll, we'll put a pin in that concept for now though. In the 23 years since its unsuspecting birth, the Iron Man heavy metal weight title has changed hands over 1,500 times, and no doubt several hundred more if you're watching this in the future. Some heavy hitters have held the heavy metal weight in the past two decades or more, such as WWE stars like Rey Mysterio, Drew Gulak, 
Black, Scarlett Bordeaux, Candice LeRae, Shayna Baszler, Asuka, Johnny Gargano, MVP, Tegan Knox, Ricochet, and LA Knight. Yeah. Impact Wrestling stars like Joe Hendry, Santino Morella, Rhino, Mike Bailey, Sue Young, and Tommy Dreamer. Wrestling legends like X Puck, The Sandman, Scott Hall, Dean Malenko, and Zeus from that wrestling film that time. And AEW stars like Eddie Kingston, Chuck Taylor, Cole Cabana, Bandido, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, Brian Cage, Takeshita, Jack Perry, The Young Bucks, and current world champion scumbag MJF. DDT president Sanshiro Takagi often found himself in the mix with the title, as has Bullet Club legend Dick Togo. Brandy Rhodes even got to finish her story by winning the title, along with the likes of violently happy Maki Ito and happily violent Aja Kong. It was also the first belt that the late Hana Kimura won at just eight years old, which her mum, Kyoko Kimura, beat her for just moments later. In the wrestling world, you're never more than three degrees of separation away from a former DDT Pro Iron Man heavy metal weight champion. In fact, 95 degrees that way is Cultaholic's own Jack the Jobber, who claimed the title for a few iconic moments on two iconic occasions. I can confirm that Jack is indeed the only Sunderland fan to win the DDT Pro Iron Man heavy metal weight championship, which should definitely award him at the very least a framed photo in the conference room on the third floor at the Stadium of Light. Plenty of non-wrestlers have had an Iron Man heavy metal weight title reign added to their resume. Referees, ring announcers, a retired football player, uh, Takeshita's mum, TDT Pro staff members, three elementary schoolgirls all at the same time, uh, TV personality Lilico, uh, at least one porn star, a taxi driver, and a three-year-old picked from the audience in 2004. Gosh, a three-year-old's going to be in his 20s by now. Oh, God, I've never felt so old. This is just a handful, a taste of the humans that held the hardware. But belts worn by fleshy blood bags is so passe. The Iron Man Heavy Metalweight Championship doesn't recognize gender, nor race, nor indeed a requirement to breathe. On January 31st, 2003, at DDT's event Sheep, Yoshihiro Sakai successfully retained the belt against Fotoshi Miwa. However, he got crushed by a weaponized ladder, and the referee, aware of the unorthodox rules of, that were pertained to the permanently on the line title, counted Sakai's shoulders to the canvas and awarded the belt to. The ladder! Marking the first time an inanimate object has won the Iron Man heavy metal weight title. The rungs ran the ring that night, successfully defending the title multiple times uh, and turning back challenges from former champion Saki before succumbing to Ichimaya at the end of the night. Later in the year, Sanshiro Takagi, the president of DDT, lost the title to what record books consider the same ladder, but was encouraged by Takagi, it was the ladder, to forfeit the title a short while later. Don't ask me how. It was too late though. Pandora's storage box had been opened. From here, inanimate objects run the world. For example, former champions include a baseball bat, a bowl of curry, a chair, another chair, a pint of beer, Vince McMahon's Hollywood Walk of Fame star, the Big Japan ring truck, a bus, a copy of the Young Bucks autobiography, an iPhone, a stuffed doll, a sex doll, a monkey, a cat called Bunny, and a Dachshund called Cocolo. They're just some of the previous holders of the title. And by the way, this will be the only title belt in Cocolo's career. There was speculation that Cocolo, the Dachshund, had a private tryout at the WWE Performance Center. And whilst Cocolo had great ring awareness and a firm understanding of the fundamentals, they pissed on William Regal's shoe. The boyhood dream came true, right, when the DDT Pro Iron Man Heavy Metal Weight title was won by the DDT Pro Iron Man Heavy Metal Weight title. This came as President Takaki, there he is once again, attempted to retire the random belt, but got blindsided by the belt's biological father, Poison Sawada, and Takagi fell with the belt on his chest which the referee classed as a pinfall. The 1,000th title change saw the belt win itself. That 
is long-term storytelling, pal. The only thing slightly stranger than the he's, she's, they's, and it's that have held the gold are the ways in which the title has changed hands. My North Wrestling co-commentator extraordinaire, Vader Scott, won the title when she offered Chris Hero a secret elbow striking technique in exchange for the belt. The crazy SKB put the title up for auction, an auction that was won by Naoshi Sano. Scott Hall lost the title to Colt Cabana after Colt wrote, I give up on a sheet of paper and got Scott Hall to read it out loud. Ryan Nemeth took the Iron Man heavy metal weight title from Bunny the Cat by pile driving the cat through a burning table. Not really, he swapped it with him for some dreamies. Everyone's fine. Scarlett Bordeaux gave Rhino the belt in return for an autograph. LA Knight lost the title to Jervis Cottonbelly via tickling into submission. And Yuna Mizumoni won the belt in a game of rock, paper, scissors on a Chocker Pro New Year's Eve show. Ling Ling failed to crush an apple with her bare hand which was recognized as a forfeit. And consequently, the apple was recognized as champion. Oh, and remember what I told you about the beer that won the title, that, that beer, yeah. Well, Yuki Ueno defeated the beer by drinking it, which I guess is a tap out. Bum! One of my favorites of all time, though, was from Joe Hendry at WCPW State of Emergency. Not long after Jack the Jobber won and lost the belt, Joe Hendry didn't want to be part of this Iron Man heavy metal bollocks. So when he won the belt, he threw it in the bin. Consequently, the, be the bin became champion <laughs> via forfeit. So the bin got the belt. And then Jack the Jobber pinned the bin backstage, like the ultimate opportunist he is. Twice in one lifetime, get this man in the stadium of light, for God's sake, because Sunderland's a massive club. The ridiculous legacy never ends. At time of recording, we've just celebrated the short but sweet tenure of the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, becoming the second belt to win a belt. A belt winning a belt, as we have learned today, is so far down the totem pole of bizarreness that begats this gold. And long may that remain. In this humble, weirdy beardy's opinion, I think this is a great thing to have around. Because at its core, wrestling is bollocks, isn't it? Come on. In amongst those deep emotional storylines, those heart-wrenching battles of good versus evil, we need a little stopgap from time to time. And the DDT Pro Iron Man Heavy Metal Weight Championship, and DDT Pro in general, is that stopgap. It's comic relief in a sea of very serious wrestling. The storyline of the bloodline has been meticulously woven through sports entertainment lore, one that has given us goosebumps and rekindled the fire of wrestling fandom for many. Hangman Page is intrinsically crafted road to defeating Kenny Omega for the AEW World title a few years back was one that touched the spirit of wrestling fans and allowed us to truly get lost in the music that this sport could create. We always want our wrestling to be captivating, well-orchestrated, almost cinematic excellence. But sometimes we just want to see a dog win a championship or Jack the Job a pin in a bin. Both are good. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.